everybody, it's Gina. Welcome to the Firefly Studio 67. Um, I was approached by Arteza um, a, a while back um, about if I would be interested in <clears throat> trying out their product and doing a little demonstration on my channel. Um, so yeah, I was really intrigued by it and I was thinking it over while I was away at Christmas and when I got back, I got back in touch with the gentleman who had approached me. And I said, yeah, I'd love to do it. And um, so today I'm just going to show you the products that they've sent. And then we're going to do a quick, well, <laughs> I hope it's going to be a quick and easy project um, using some of them. So I just want to start with the mica powder. Um... This is amazing. You get 60 powders in this. Um, and I am super impressed with it. I played around the other day because, um, I'll be honest, I've not used mica powder before. So this was something that, you know, I didn't have a lot of uh, experience with. So I wanted to, to dabble with it, and I love it. So I'm going to... Over the next couple weeks, I'm going to try out everything on here and we'll do a quick project that I feel will be appropriate to adding to your junk journals. Um, <clears throat> but you can just see, I mean, these are really nice. You get um, five grams of the powder in each of these, and I can tell you by the little spoon that they give you that is going to last a long time and the the, uh, the shades are amazing I mean look at that lilac you know I'm going to be using that for sure so I'm super excited to jump in and do a project using these so that is the mica powders I will sit those to the side and the packaging I mean it's just um, very impressive uh, the next item was the acrylic colors, and again, this is an example of the shades that you get, and it is a really nice assortment. Um, I have played around with these, again, um, and they are very, very nice paints. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with it. Look at the, look at the um, selection that you've got on colors. I mean, just the green. It's amazing. And this is such a good value, for, uh, considering everything that you're getting in these. So I look forward to, to playing around with these because. I haven't done a lot of acrylic with my journaling. It's primarily watercolor, so I'm super excited to try to experiment with that. Um, I mean, those will definitely be for, for journal covers, and I'm hoping to do some tags. So, on to this one. This is the one I'm probably, well, I'm, I'm super excited about the mica powders, but uh, the watercolors. This is um, this is what we're going to play around with today because I'll be honest I've not used watercolors in this form before and I have not tried these which I probably should have <laughs> but you know me I'm not that organized and I just thought it would be fun just to jump on here and let's just play with them together and see what we can come up with. Wow. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I already see a color I want to work with. I'm going to pull some things out because what I know, I know the project I'm going to do. But we are going to try it together on here and see what happens. And hope that it's not an epic fail. Alright, let me sit these over to the side. So in case I've got to go back to that. 
I can do so. Okay, so I have grabbed, just to get started, the orange yellow, which is the A114, the A215, which is saffron orange, and then the jade green, which is A237. We're just going to get started with that because, like I said, this is, I have not tried this ahead of time, so bear with me, guys. Um, let me get my little thing here. Now, I had a little uh, palette, but it is so dirty. I just was like, I'm not even getting that out. And look at me, I'm so posh that I I, I clean my brushes in a, tea, a bone china teacup. Not really. I, I'm just actually too lazy to go downstairs and get another container. So... <laughs> But I did do that the other day, and I thought, well, actually, that's kind of nice. It's a nice use for my, my china. Okay, so let me make sure I am unframe here. Like I said, this is, um, this is going to be interesting because I've never used watercolors from a tube. And I might find that this won't be the right colors. Oh, look at that. Now, that's the saffron orange. Okay, loving that. That's beautiful. But I can already see I'm going to need a yellow. So I'm going to grab the yellow ochre. Ochre? Ochre? You can see my mind's gone back to food again. Okra. Okay. And then I'm really anxious to see what this jade green that is. Beautiful. Oh, wow. I'm totally going to be using that. That's beautiful. Okay, so I am now, I have pre-cut. These are the uh, Tim Holtz Butterfly. It's a dye. I think they're tattered. It's a tattered butterfly dye. I've cut that out with 300 GSM uh, watercolor paper. I like to do that. Um, you know, when obviously when you're working with the watercolors, it, it just um, is really really nice to do that. Okay, let's <clears throat> start off. I'm gonna spritz just lightly. That paper. And then let's see how this goes, guys. Oh, wow. It mixes beautifully. Okay, so I'm just going to start adding some of this color. I really wanted to see... Um, how these were going to come out because um, oh they're beautiful colors beautiful now let me just uh, add a little disclaimer here guys I am not a watercolor artist this is um, I'm not trying to teach you any kind of techniques this is just purely so that I can see how the colors work and you can the um, pigmentation is really um, strong on this I mean that's that's given a lot of coverage I love it So what I did the other day is I um, I used this dye on a journal cover, and this is how I created that. Um, just doing this, that's how I ended up with the look, and it just takes a lot of layers. So I'm what I'm going to have to do is dry this in between. And what I, I'm, 
I'm just so you don't have to listen to that because it is so annoying. I'm going to shut the camera off in between and let that dry. Um, again, I don't claim to be a artist at all, but I do like to dabble and um, play around until I get the results I like. So hopefully you will enjoy it as well and maybe it will make you less intimidated about trying some different products for, for making things because what we're going to do with this is we're going to add it and make a little tag at the end. So just hang on guys while I dry this and then we're going to start adding some more color. Be right back. Okay, welcome back guys. Sorry about that. I didn't get the light back in before I turned the camera on. Okay, I've added, this is Viridian Green. I think that's how you pronounce that. Because that's come out more of a uh, teal turquoise, which is what I like. And then I added the uh, Sienna, Burnt Sienna. So let's start with that. Let's see. I'm just kind of dabbling it around. <clears throat> and if it's too dark, just come back and add a little bit of water. Um, and like I said, you know, just play around with it. I, I play around usually first on, um, you know, my watercolor pa pad. Um, and then when I'm sure of the colors that I want to use, then I come back because... Um, once you've cut these out, you know, it is a shame to, to go through all the work of cutting them out and then finding it. Oh, well, that's not really the color combination I want. But I kind of already knew from the previous um, butterfly what the colors to use. Because I do love um, the way they came out. Okay, so now let me go ahead and put a bit over here. Um, really like um, the way these are working. This this is beautiful paint. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of this. Uh, jade green was what that was. Just get, get a bit of that mixed in. And just don't swirl things too much, otherwise it just all ends up getting very muddied and uh, you won't like the, the way that looks at all. I should have grabbed a paper towel, dog on it, oh well. Here I know that I want that the body of that uh, butterfly to be darker so I'm, I'm happy to go ahead and come back and add a bit more to that and let that blend out. Yeah, I should have grabbed a... <laughs> I'm never prepared. I should have got my paper towel. Okay, I am going to go ahead and dry this, guys, because it's getting very wet and uh, it's all starting to um, to pull together a bit too much. So let me dry this and then we'll come back and start adding a bit more. Be right back. Okay, guys, I have dried that and now I want to add a bit more, um, <clears throat> a bit more color to this. So I'm going with that deeper teal now and I just want to start adding that in. Like I said, if you feel that's too dark, just you can add a little bit more water.
and I don't want it to be too too perfect for sure. <laughs> I really enjoy um, when I get the time to do this kind of thing. I don't get to do nearly as much of it as I'd like. And to me, because you've got that orange and then you're coming over it with the teal, it starts to take on um, the look of uh, aged copper. And I love that. I think I just think it's it's a, it's a beautiful effect. like that. That's coming along nice. So this one, let's see, let's do, I want to put a bit more of the, that sienna over that there. So you can see each time, you know, if it's something that you didn't like in the beginning, you can always come back and, uh, tweak it. Okay, I'm liking this one. This one still needs a bit more. I'm going to go back and add a little bit more of this. Yeah, much, much happier with that. Okay, I'm going to hit that with the dryer and then we'll come back and start framing that with a bit of brown. And let me see. I'll try this. That's burnt umber. That should be fine. Okay, I'll dry this same we'll Okay guys, I thought I'd just give you a close-up of how these are looking so far. I like them. I think um, once I've done this last little bit, <clears throat> that should pull it together. And this is just, I don't know, it just kind of gives it a bit more detail. I'm just taking, that was the burnt umber. Yes. And I'm just kind of going along the edge here. Just kind of frame frame this. But don't be too perfect again. Um, and then, like I said, just 
just along the edge. I just want that to stand out a little bit more. The other nice thing about the watercolors is, you know, if you don't have the um, a lot of inks, you know, this is another way that you can get the same kind of effect. And it's really the way I choose to because um, I like the watercolors. I can use them in a lot of different ways. I know you can the inks as well, but... Um, but I do think it's just it's just nice to have some something different to play with. Okay, let me try. This is the raw umber. Let me just have a try a little look on what that shade. Oh, that, that's pretty, too. Gosh, I can't believe uh, how little of this you actually need. So do be aware of that. Because I, I think I'm going to have to... When I shut the camera off, I think what I need to do is... Um, quickly cut out some more of these butterflies and... Uh, use this up because my goodness that's that's it really does go a long ways which is awesome <laughs> Okay, I'm going to dry this, and the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to take a circle, and I'm going to add some paper to that, and then we'll finish this tag up. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we are back, and I just want to show you um, how that's starting to look. Now, what I've done, and please, don't be, don't be hating, I... Um, I don't probably have the right pin, but, you know, you just have to improvise. Um, so I've just come back <clears throat> just with a regular black pin, and I just want to now add some lines to this um, butterfly, and I'm not going to be, like, really too worried about it. It's just very lightly, just to give it a little bit more detail. But, yeah, don't be... Don't be um, hating me for it, because this isn't the right pen, and I know it's not. This is just purely, like I said, this is to show you the Arteza um, watercolor product. It's not about me <laughs> and what I can do, because I don't uh, claim to be an artist at all. But it just, you can see, you don't have to be too fussy, and it does give it just a bit more, um, a little bit more interest there. And I'm sure if you had a Sharpie, you could probably come around here and darken those. That would be awesome. Okay, so here we are. What has she done? I've taken a circle, because this is going to be a tag. So I've cut out a little circle, and then I covered it with some paper. You could put like some sheet music or something. You don't want anything that's too bold because you want this to stand out against it. Um, and that's what we're going to do. 
and I'm just going to glue this butterfly to him. Now the other thing you could do, but I won't do it today because this is a demo for Arteza, is you could also go along here with some gold um, um, gilding wax and you can give that along the edges. That's, that's a really pretty technique as well. Let me get... I'm going to punch this out and set a bread, or not a bread, an eyelet, and then this little tag is going to be done. Oh, I don't like that twine there. That's too thick. Let me just go back to my other twine here. So there you go, guys. Let me get all this out of your way so you can see how that's come out. I'm really, really, really delighted with those watercolors. They are really nice to work with. As I said, you can see how little I've actually had to use. So I am definitely going to be... Um, making some more of those today and get those all ready so that when my product projects come up I'll have those ready to go. So there you go guys. That is um, what we've made today. As I said I will be back over the next couple weeks. I'm going to uh, do a project with the mica powder and the acrylic colors as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that and um, I'm going to provide the link below to um, the site both here and in the U.S. This is the EU site and also the U.S. And there is um, a coupon code that you can use if you're interested in purchasing any of these. So do check the description box below. And uh, I will be back very soon with some more ideas, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's been useful in uh, showing you, you know, some different products that we can use within our journal making. So take care guys and I'll see you later. Bye!